Hello, everybody. This is from Milwaukee, Nashville. I'm Dan Grimmel. Over there, we have John Lewandowski. Hey. Our show is brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker. You can call them at 414-800-7585 or visit their website at hockeylockermilwaukee.com. Since you guys did not see us during Memorial Day, have a proud Memorial Day weekend. I hope you guys had a proud one. Hope you guys enjoyed your uh, barbecues and, yeah. and uh, you know, uh, kind of tribute to those who have fallen so that we have the right to do what we do. Yeah. And I mean all of us, not us. The right. Podcast. I mean all of us living our lives the way we do. Yeah. Um, and which also gives us the platform to do what we do. So, right. so thank you to all of them. Uh, we have a we, we're kind of a little bit behind, but we have a wallpaper coming out this week. This week I went, uh, well, it should have came out today, but it'll be out tomorrow morning. I'm sorry for those of you who are used to our wallpaper Wednesdays. We had one come out today. I've been a little behind. I will make sure it's up with this video. So I will do that for you guys. Um, on other news. Um, we have three other videos coming for you guys tonight, not just this one. And this one, we got the Florida Everglades and the Greenville Swamp Rabbits. Yeah. yeah. So going into this game, Everglades just needed a win. Yeah. That's all they needed. And they came out kind of hot in the first. In the second, they kind of slowed back a little. And in the third... They, they were like 50-50 on it. And, well, we'll get to that. But in the first, you had uh, Marcus Vila, no Bob, hmm. uh, with an assist from Mighty Joe Pendenza and Jordan Sambrook. Um, Vila has had his injuries this year. But it's good to see him back and playing at this level with yeah. playoffs just around the corner. And right. by the corner, I mean after this weekend. Yep. Yeah. Which we're hoping to be back live by then. Hopefully. Hoping. hoping. We can hope. Second period, like I said, it was 50-50. You know, in the first period, shots were 14-10. to 10. Greensville. So, I mean, like I said, Florida came out strong, but... Greensville kind of looked sloppy in their shooting. Right. The second period, they looked more reserved in their shooting and like how they did it. Um, where Florida kind of looked a little sloppy in their shooting. You know, throw it on net, hope for a rebound kind of thing. Yeah. Um, those kind of things can't, I mean, and it does happen from game to game. So uh, those, those were were kind of it uh, in the second shots were 13 apiece. Um, in the uh, in the second, so the uh, scoring in the second was uh, Matt Bradley for uh, Greensville Swamp Rabbits, who have one of the coolest logos in in the ECHL. Um, Greensville has a really cool yeah. logo. It's a rabbit holding a carrot that turns into a hockey stick. It is really cool. Um, by the way, for those of you that like logos, we do have some, uh, we, we posted out earlier uh, that uh, we have some uh, contents, uh, content that is in the works. Uh, logos and uh, jerseys are, and, and arenas are, are three of them that are in yep. the works. Yeah. So here, there's a little sneak peek for the uh, true fans of our show this year. Thank you so much. I mean, not to say that the Preds fans, yeah. the Everblades fans, you guys have been all over our page, and I can't thank you guys enough. Yes, thank you. Um, uh, scoring in the third was nothing. Like I said, the, th the third was very even. It was it was kind of an even game the whole game. Yeah. I, I, I just got a little confused by it. Now, I will say this. Whoever was in charge of audio during this game, I had to turn it off because it sounded like I was watching um, – Remember back in the 90s when cable channels would go off and you get that static? Yeah. yeah. That's how it was. That's how I, it the whole Yeah, movie. even the radio feed, all I heard was static. So um, I, I had no audio the whole game, so I, I kind of had to go with what I had, uh, you know. 
Um, and I tried the radio myself and it, it just didn't pan out for me. Um, they went to OT, tied 1-1. Uh, shots in the third were 11 apiece. Like I said, very even. <laughs> Sorry about that, folks. My mascot was trying to be, uh, thought John was here. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then uh, in OT, shots were 4-1. to one. Florida. In OT, giving us the Eastern Conference title, Miles Powell with a six from assist from Alex Kyle. Yeah. In this game, there were a boatload of penalties in the second. But it was Matt Bradley, the guy who tied the game, who kind of ruined it for him, along with Samuel Jardine. Jardine got called for a high stick. And Matt Bradley got called for a 10-minute misconduct in OT. Ouch. So, your Florida Everblades are the Eastern Conference champs. That being said, we now get the... I can't remember the name of that trophy. <laughs> We're the only one to clinch the, 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 the conference as well. Um, they are still battling for the West. It is between Wichita, the Allen Americans, and the Fort Wayne Comets. Yeah. yeah. Throw those teams under a blanket. Um, Wichita is only up by point two point one eight 0.18%. Yeah, by 0.818%. Um, and then Fort Wayne's not far behind that, behind the Allen Americans who are up by point, I think it's like 0.18%. So it's like you could throw them literally under a blanket. Right. Um, team that looks like they're going to have it is probably going to be Wichita with them being ahead and, and yeah. having the ability to, to stay there. Also, congratulations to the Utah Grizzlies clinching. Um, they clinched as well. Uh, the Indy Fuel took care of the uh, Kansas City Mavericks 5-1 uh, uh, to one in their game today. And the Allen Americans took care of Wichita 3-1. to one. Fort Wayne beat Utah 3-2. to two. That game is still ongoing, actually. They're live in the third three. Um, with that being said, the referees were Alex Normandy. 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 I don't know. Alex Normandy. Uh, linesmen were Charlie O'Connor and Billy Gobelman. Uh, attendance at Hertz Arena, they were at home. Uh, 3,834 for a Wednesday night on a work week after a holiday. Pretty good number. Pretty good, yeah. It's weird we're talking about regular season hockey after Memorial Day. Right. <laughs> like, I mean... It is really weird, but hey, COVID did it. So, what are we gonna do? No. Um. And other news: your three stars of the game are the goaltenders. Are two of them, uh, but Bednar and Jake Hildebrand were the third. Uh, Bednar was the third, Hildebrand was the second, and Miles Powell was the first star of the game. By the way, I was really irritated with Flow Hockey. They were announcing the three stars of the game, and um, they uh, cut to commercial during the three stars of the game, which is frustrating. Um, the audio, yet again, as we said, was frustrating. Yeah. Well, we made it work today. Uh, uh, like I said, we're hoping to be back around each other soon. Um, we, uh, we will disclose everything at another time on why. Yeah. 
but till then, it, it, it's between us in our group. Um, I would like to thank Tommy and and all our top stars over there on face, our top fans over there on Facebook. Um, those guys over there, they're they're a loyal group. I want to thank them all. So give me yeah, a second. Thank you. Well, I pull up. I'm gonna thank each one of you individually tonight. Because if it wasn't for you guys, we probably would be done this year. Uh, so we are coming back for next year. There's a uh, yep. bit of news there. Uh, every season's kind of a, a toss up for everybody, and we never know what's gonna happen or right. what news is gonna go on or what's gonna go on in our lives. But uh, I uh, I wanted to sort of thank you out there to them. Thank you to the Admirals, Preds, Florida Everblades, uh, Hockey Locker. Um, as yes. we wrap, get close to wrapping up our year. It, you know, thank you to all you guys that make this so much fun to do. We enjoy going live, so don't think that that, <laughs> that we're recording because we hate being live or in the safe room or whatever. Um, so thank you to Michelle Brown, Tommy LaFleur, Steve Johnson, Tyler Iverson, and Barbara Ewing Bowman. Barbara Ewing Bowman is our longest top fan at five months. Uh, Tommy is at three, Tyler's at a month, Steve's at two months, but Steve's been top fan, I think, like six times. Uh, thank you to Michelle for being a new top fan. Um, I hope that everybody uh, likes the new stuff that's going to be coming. Um, we do have some YouTube exclusive stuff because Facebook will flag it. All right. All right. Um, so we'll just be posting the link to it on our Facebook page. We're also slowly getting our Instagram back up and running. And you can follow both Twitters. Uh, one of them is from Milwaukee to Nashville, and the other one is from Milwaukee to Nashville co-host, which uh, John runs day to day. Um, we work uh, very hard to make sure that our social media presence is very heavy. And... Um, uh, just breaking, we also would like to wish prayers for Jack Evans. Uh, yep. a nasty hit from Mark Shifley. Check it out. We will be talking about that in another video. Yeah. Soon. So, like I said, lots of content coming. We also have the NHL uh, draft lottery. We're going to be talking about that a little bit. Uh, so, see you guys soon. Hope you guys enjoy our content tonight. Yep. Everblade fans, sleep well. And thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. You're right.